Welcome back to Phantom of the Indie Review. I am your host, I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Dill. And today we are going to be talking about the 1997 fantasy horror film, Wishmaster. Happy Halloween! I feel like in the 80s and 90s, we had the cult classic horror icons. You have Pinhead, Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, all these. And the 90s kind of got snubbed in terms of creating a new legacy of horror. I mean, you have Candyman, a few other standalone films. But Wishmaster desperately tried to be the next big horror icon. And I believe, in my humble opinion, it fell flat. Directed by Robert Kurtzman, who is mainly a special effects artist. Uh, Wishmaster focuses on a wish-granting evil genie or a djinn, djinn, I don't know how the fuck to pronounce it, who is released from this jewel and is fixated on capturing the soul of the woman who released him. And, you know, he's mischievous along the way, along the lines of a leprechaun, you know, the dude. Leprechaun wants his gold. The djinn wants souls. I don't fuck. That's a supernatural take on another fucking bullshit story. Andrew Divov as the Wishmaster villain i think he's good like i feel like they they capture a right guy it's cool to see the actor as a normal person and with the prosthetic makeups of the Wishmaster. so i feel like as a candidate for playing a real person and this supernatural entity they cast it right with that and i mean they really tried to make this movie a franchise it has four in the catalog one or two maybe even three you'd be like yeah you know it's a nice little trilogy but they were banking on making this Wishmaster character the next horror icon i remember when i was a kid actually specifically there was like this dvd movie called boogeyman and it showed the highlights of each horror icon with a little biography it'd be like freddy krueger the springwood slasher and then show one of the most infamous scenes and they put Wishmaster on there. Like, they were banking on making Wishmaster a fucking huge success. And where did this movie fall flat? First off, for me, I feel like a lot of movies do this, and it's almost like its own subgenre, where they, when they have a collage of, like, previously known horror icons in their movies as cast. Like, this movie has Tony Todd in it, Kane Hodder, Robert Englund with all little cameos. So it's like, when you have some of the greats to ever do it, Candyman, Jason, etc., etc. Dude, the Wishmaster is the greatest franchise to ever bless the cinema screen. He could fuck Freddy Krueger up any day. Bon Johnson, how do you even keep getting the key into my house? I sneak in, dude. Like, go away for a while. I just really like it, dude. I feel like it's not as bad as you're depicting it to be. Bon Johnson, you would like the Wishmaster franchise, you fucking poser. What is A Nightmare on Elm Street 2 refined for you, you fucking degenerate? That's really taken away from the impact of what you're trying to do as a, to create a horror icon. Like, it's cool to tip the hat and have these little homages. But separate from the others and create your own brand is where I look at it. Uh, the Wishmaster just has a bunch of cheesy catch lines, you know, trying to be ominous. There's one scene where fucking this homeless dude's outside arguing with, like, dude who owns a fucking... What are they called? Pharmacy. And he comes up and he's like, I will grant you a wish. What do you want me to do? <laughs> and the homeless guy says something and he twists it and he ends up killing the dude and it's like one of those typical things be careful what you wish for it's like cliche it's like it's just for a horror icon i feel like they they had a lot of potential with this but ultimately it fell flat they have that final girl aspect of alexandra trying to defeat the evil and you know be the face of this franchise but her character is very lackluster and boring and Nothing special. Bro, last time you spoiled the movie tremendously. Like, I'll give you one more shot. Dude, come on! And the rest of the cast is forgettable. The kills are forgettable. There's this one scene where the dude, like, busts in on Wishmaster and he's like, Oh, what the fuck? And Wishmaster's like, Do you wish to not see this? <laughs> it's like, first off, like, don't bait people into making a wish, bro. That's that's a bullshit within itself. But the dude's like, yeah. And then he like sews his eyes up. He's like, my eyes, my fucking eyes, mate. He doesn't say mate, but that's just like, I don't know. And then he like the, also does this thing where like, I don't know, it's very Jeepers creepers S, even though this came before Jeepers Creepers. So maybe Jeepers Creepers is a knockoff. But I don't know. Like, I just feel like they had a cool, practical design of a creature made by Robert Kurtzman and a solid idea they just didn't know how to execute it and that's why i feel like this fell flat and didn't become a horror icon that it should have um we got more stuff coming this halloween y'all 
hit that little ding ling button harassing you, telling you, hey, it's me, I'm here. And as always, I'm gonna say it one time, give me a hell yeah for horror. Fuck. I wish for a million subscribers. Psych!